Facebook? I'm John Maybar, and about a few years ago, I helped uh, take over the neighborhood watch because the lady who started it uh, you know, decided she was going to move on and do some other things. So, of course, I uh, said, why not? I live here in the neighborhood. I've been active. I'm on 8th and Walker, so I'm a neighbor. And also, this neighborhood watch isn't just for this area only. This is for everybody that either like to start a neighborhood watch in their neighborhood and need some more information. Uh, you know, we can talk afterwards on how to start that neighborhood. Because they're all welcome if you're not from, of course. Neighborhood? What is the neighborhood? What area are you talking about? Well, what we started out as the 8th Street, 7th Street, 9th Street, down on Oral Terrace in Leland, all the way up to about Weymouth, and then up to, I believe, at uh, Ellery. So um, that's just kind of a grid we put together, but it, like I said, it's very loose. I went ahead and printed out some information about the crime that's kind of been going on around town. And there's been over 800 crime incidents, burglaries, in the last six months in San Pedro. 800. And that's LA Times, LAPD information. And very important that everybody lock their cars, lock their houses. This is a lot of opportunity crimes. People are walking around and doing this. And people are like, meantime, I'd like to introduce uh, James Diamond. He's a council member on the coastal uh, neighborhood council. And also the neighborhood watch on that side of town. So James is going to talk a little bit about their successes and what they're doing as well. <coughs> what I'd like to see us implement in our part of town, to be very honest. So. Hello everybody, my name is James Diamond. I'm the Chairman for Public Safety for Coastal San Pedro Neighborhood Council. When I accepted this position, the first thing I started doing was doing the statistics. What's really going on? We see these things that are happening in our town. The, the, the recent gunfire, uh, that we hear of the home invasion robbery. I have to tell you, when he says there's 800 instances of, of crime, more than likely the crime that we will be victims of. If you're not out after 10 o'clock at night, there's nothing nefarious going on in your home. The chances are the crimes that we will be subjected to are crimes of opportunity. Like he said, the guy walking down the street at 3 o'clock in the morning pulling door handles. Um, so this is where neighborhood watch is very, very, very important. A certain area right up here around White Point School, they had six break-ins in six months, which is just extremely high for a neighborhood. So what the neighbors all got together and did is they had a block party and they installed cameras on all their homes. But they, they did something that was more important. They did what neighborhood watch is meant to achieve. I know, and I'm, I've lived here my entire life, my family's been here for a decade. I know that there are people that live on your street who you wave at when you're watering your front lawn or on your walk, but you don't know who those people are. If somebody were to pull up in a, a, a truck and walk into their backyard, you wouldn't know whether they belong there or not. So when they had this block party, what they got to do is to, they got to know each other. So instead of being the nice guy down the street that I wave to all the time or I have for years, that's now my friend. You now have a vested interest. Businesses. Across from the uh, waterworks is my other business. But um, I've been on the board about a year and a half now. Uh, I enjoy it. In fact, I joined because I came to a meeting here that John had a, a couple of years ago. What's that? The yeah. meeting that you had a couple of years ago that made me join the uh, neighborhood council. Uh, I'm Pedro. Uh, so I'll leave my cards here. If there's questions that you have, things that you want done, that you come to our, our board meeting. It's the second Monday of every month. Um, I think we accomplished a lot for this. Doing that too. I know that, you know, I've heard talk like that. I could tell you that I work right across the street from there. Our building happens to butt up with, you know, on 3rd Street with uh, Rancho San Pedro. And I leave late at night and go in late at night, and I've never, never had an incident of anything, you know, uh, happen to me. Boulevard slash Minor Street, because, you know, Harbor turns into Minor. This is the Outer Harbor. This is where the Sansonia blew up. Everyone knows, remember, remember, remember that, you know, in the Outer Harbor? You know that. 
So we call this the outer harbor. This used to all be closed to the public. It's all open now. This, this brand new marina has been built. It's open. But I wanted to concentrate about this outer harbor area right now and show you um, we repaved the parking lot. And then we put the Lane Victory. She got moved over here to the East Channel. And this is a shot last year when we had a cruise ship in the outer uh, harbor. Now, we typically don't have cruise ships in the outer harbor. The only time we have is. So on occasion, we'll have three cruise, cruise ships in uh, the port. And we used to have space for all three cruise ships in the inner harbor. But now the USS Iowa took one of our spots. So with that happening, when we have our three, third cruise ship, it gets uh, docked out here. And this year coming up, we'll see that happen about, I think, six times. So here shortly, we'll see uh, six different you know, ships out here. In our, it's a really beautiful you know, sight. Cirque du Soleil. Yay. Anyone been to Vegas and see Cirque du Soleil? Guess what? You see this big old spot here? In about less than a month or a month or so, we're going to see a big tent go up there. And totem is coming. I think it's really a nice opportunity, uh, and we're very fortunate here in San Pedro to have you know such entertainment. I mean, this entertainment doesn't happen everywhere, and uh, we're really trying to attract some nice entertainment down here in San Pedro. So I hope you take advantage of it.